the Vardanger fiddle has been called the devil's instrument, but it was and always has been a folk instrument built for the music that was played on it and built for the people. The Hardanger fiddle actually has a, a fairly long history. It dates from the early, at least the early 1600s in Norway. It started out looking quite a bit different, a little squattier and a little thicker than a regular violin. It was made especially to play the Norwegian dance music. My name is Robert Edward Larson. People call me Bud, but I live in Brainerd, Minnesota. My father was a fiddler in his younger age and a violin teacher and a collector of Hardunger fiddles. I had started to learn how to play the fiddle from my dad when I was a little kid. But when I was in the seventh grade, we moved to a small apartment in Fargo. Just down the hallway from us was Gunnar Helland, and my father was a Norwegian immigrant, and he was from Norway too, so uh, we became good friends. The Helland family in Telemark, Norway, was the largest violin-making family in the world, bigger than either Stradivarius or Granary families. When I was in the ninth grade, I began working regularly in his shop, learning violin repair for about nine years. Gunnar wasn't building many Hardanger fiddles at that time. He said that the tradition was really dying out. The last instrument that he built hung there in his shop for all the years that I worked with him. Then towards the end of the time that I worked with him, he gave me that fiddle and he said, someday you can finish this for me. Then finally, about 73 years after he started it, I actually finished it. It's my favorite fiddle. Gunnar used to get wood from his father in Norway. A lot of that wood came from the old Stav churches that were being taken apart. Some of these heavy timbers that they found were very good sound wood. He liked that because during the Hans Nielsen Hauge revival in Norway, there were people going around to the farmsteads destroying fiddles because they said that this was the instrument of the devil. And of course, it was associated with long parties and a lot of drinking and carousing, so they had fiddle burnings. Gunnar used to say that this was a sad part of his history, but now he was building fiddles from the church, so it was a way for him to get back at the church for having destroyed so many fiddles. Hardanger fiddle is built mainly spruce tops and maple for the rest of the violin, and nowadays ebony parts. The materials in a Hardanger fiddle have changed somewhat over the years and the designs are always changing. My name is Ruth Dramstead. I'm from Real Cass County and I play Hardanger fiddle with the Fargo Spellman's Log. I received a grant from the state of North Dakota to build my own Hardanger fiddle. I was apprenticed to Bud Larson. North Dakota has a very good grant program for helping people to remember the old things that used to be an integral part of North Dakota culture and history and emphasizing that these things should be passed on. I've been supported to continue teaching new people, especially younger people now, like Ruth, who have taken an interest in their Norwegian heritage to actually build a fiddle. It's been an interesting experience to work with them all. At our first workshop, we made a form and bent sides to match the form. After that, we carved the top and bottom plates out of maple and spruce. We carved the neck out of maple and the fingerboard and tailpiece are inlaid ebony. To ink the fiddle, we started by covering the whole fiddle in watered down wood glue so that the ink wouldn't bleed. And then we would take a piece of paper with a design on one side and spread chalk on the other side and use pencil to transfer the chalk to the fiddle. And then we would trace over the chalk lines with ink pens. My fiddle is based with North Dakota themes. So I have a meadowlark on the back and a bison head as my scroll. 
and wild prairie roses inlaid onto the fingerboard and a wheat stalk onto the tailpiece. My fiddle took about a year and a half to build and 200 hours total. I hope to share the tradition of building and playing the Hardanger fiddle with many different people. A Hardanger fiddle will keep on going because it can adapt to change. Funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. And by the members of Prairie Public.